Look at this little beauty. Isn't it just gorgeous? I really love this. It's this the colour, this bluey sort of aqua, bluey green colour with the cream. Just absolutely gorgeous. These chrome, you know, the chrome plates and the chrome hand wheel here. And the little touches, even the likes of the bob and winder is a white rubber here or a creamy coloured rubber. Even the foot controller is gorgeous. I mean, have you ever seen such a beautiful foot controller? I mean, wow. I, you know, Singer made some beautiful machines, but, you know, brother, wow, he's really done a nice job with this one. This is the brother model 280. And looking at that with the whole 60s sort of aesthetic, I would assume it's a 1960s era machine. I haven't uh, looked it up, but um, this is as it came from my customer. He brought it in and wanted me to go through and service the machine and see if there are any issues. And um, he found it at a recycle centre or, a, you know, what we sometimes call a tip shop or a dump shop. Yeah, someone's just discarded this beautiful machine. It does have the cover. I don't have it with me. Uh, my customer's still got that. But yeah, if we take a look around the machine, you can see that, you know, you've got this beautiful uh, chrome here on the hand wheel and the stop motion clutch there. Motor. Motor belt's very loose. And come right around here. We've got, you know, even the Presser foot lifter, all chrome. This knob here is chrome. Just beautiful. I love the colour scheme. It's right up my alley, that. If we have a look down at the, just above the label here, this is the label on the inside of the arm here. So, what does that say? Replacement or refund of money guaranteed by Good Housekeeper if not as advertised therein, model 280. Yeah, so that's interesting. So yeah, I, could, I just couldn't resist showing you this one. Just quickly, I won't go through the servicing process on this one. It's fairly similar to any other older machine, really. Uh, I can see that the something is seized. It's, I can't turn the hand wheel there. Something's locked up. So that needs tension there. But just in a nutshell, we've got a uh, stitch length, I would say that one, reverse, back, back tacking here, a little push in for the bobbin winder engager, automatic uh, bobbin winder cut off there, and then you've got your stitch selection here, that's a straight stitch right through to your widest zigzag, and that's determined by this lever here, we're on zero there, that's five for your widest zigzag and zero down on straight there. And then you come right around to uh, buttonholes. I guess that's like a four step buttonhole or a two step maybe. And then there's a blind hemming type stitch and then we're back to straight there. If you have a look down here, we've got this little uh, knob here that is a drop feed type knob. It does a little bit more than drop feed. There's an intermediate setting so on normal, your feed dogs are coming up through the plate full height. If you switch this down to silk, it's a little bit tight. If you set that down to silk there, it just drops the feed dogs down slightly so that they don't come up so high and it's good for feeding sheer fabrics like silk. And then you've got, if you turn it right around here, you've got darn there. So that drops the feeds right down. So yeah, that's pretty handy. Yeah, that definitely needs freeing up. Beautiful chrome tensioner there. Oh, just chrome everywhere. I just love it. This knob here adjusts the presser foot pressure. So it's set right down on darn at the moment. So that'll be the lightest weight there. And we come up to silk here. So I'm increasing the pressure as I turn it clockwise here. We've got cotton. That'll be your sort of standard. We've got a buttonhole emblem there in red there. Linen, increasing more to wool, and then coats there. So it gives you a bit of an idea as to what your pressure should be based on the type of fabric you're sewing. It's pretty handy. And I've got a nice little open up side door there, light bulb there, 
and easily accessible for maintenance that's pretty handy and we'll have a standard type uh, bobbin case arrangement under here the bobbin case is actually not with me it's with the customer but uh, I'm pretty sure it takes a standard uh, Japanese style bobbin case there uh, yeah low shank machine so uh, you know it should accept the lots of the grossed buttonhole attachment that I showed in a previous video I take a standard domestic sewing machine needle uh, 130 slash 705 needle so that's it pretty much just a quick one today I couldn't resist just showing you this machine here I'm going to go through and service the machine and hopefully it's all go for the customer you'll see a little snippet of the sewing test in the outro there so yep thank you very much for watching thank you as always to my patrons on patreon and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and we'll see you in the next video